Hi, I'm April Hugh with Century 21, Hometown Realty, and... I'm Miko Neiman. I'm also with Century 21, and we have James Hossel with Hossel Builders. That's good to be here. Yeah. Nice Welcome, to see James. you. So you're the design end of the team. Yes, my brother takes the, on the construction and financing parts of the business, and I uh, head up the sales, marketing, and design. Yeah. Okay, so sales, marketing, and design. Yes. Okay. So are you the first one on the scene then? Or? Yes, okay. when someone calls the office, I normally set up an appointment to um, visit the home or an office if we're doing an office remodel. And um, yeah, just uh, go through the wants and needs of the project and we toss around some ideas and um, see if what their wants are are gonna match up with um, budgetary goals and if they have the space for it. Okay. Well, you have such an amazing sense of design, though. You, you, the way you pull c colors and ideas together, ha it, it just comes to you naturally? Or? Yeah, I actually have no formal training. Um, amazing. Yeah, but uh, when Joe and I started in the Bay Area 20 years ago, mm -hmm. um, I would be interacting with clients just being the superintendent, and they would show me some selections they were making, and I would um, look at them, they'd ask my advice, and. Uh, you know, we toss some stuff out, add some things, and and uh, the projects were turning out really nice. So, um, and I enjoyed that part of it. You know, most contractors just say, "Tell me what you want, and I'll install." Right. But I enjoyed all the problem solving and the adjustments. So, um, and then I really just dug into uh, you know being self-taught, and you know from the different programs and magazines, and um, and I yeah, just eat that stuff up. That's just amazing. I mean, you're very talented. It's like you this are. natural. You really do I have, mean, yeah. Vision. You come in and you can see this and you see that. I mean, I, from personal experience, oh, yeah. I had to come well, to my house. The room that you <laughs> did for her, that, I mean, it yeah. was night and day difference for their house. Great it's just yes. amazing. Yeah. And then they yeah. got the extra bedroom and the bathroom yeah. and. Yeah, sometimes a little bit of extra square feet can uh, be life changing. Yeah, it really, yeah. really it's been it's been wonderful. Now it's more to clean, but uh, yeah. now that I have one out of the house and one's about to leave, so That's right. anyway. But uh, no, very pleased, and it's kind of like I want you to come over and tell me what I need to do for my kitchen. Sure, anytime. <laughs> We're doing lots and lots of kitchens since COVID. So okay, so yeah, that's. Do you see yeah. trends right now? Is there trends going on with colors and counters and sure. cabinets and things? Yeah, well, um, just so just a few years ago, we would uh, we were doing like 95% granite, and now we're doing like 99% quartz, because quartz has come such a long way. It looks just like the real stuff, but um, it's much more durable. So. Okay, so and is it less expensive, or um, is it some? Generally, it's more expensive. Oh, okay. Um, but some of the quartz replicate like a calicata marble that. Uh, the quartz version might be 25 a square foot and the real stuff might be 250 a square foot. Oh, wow. So there's certain patterns that really are huge cost savings. And you don't need um, to do any maintenance with it like the granite. Yeah, no, there's no yeah. maintenance, no ceiling. Um, you just can't put really, really hot things on it. But okay. other than that, it's um, pretty bulletproof. Okay. And so what are the, is it the still the grays? Grays and whites and beige yes. okay. um, is very is still very popular. Okay. Um, the all gray, like flooring trends that okay. were popular a few years ago yeah. are they came in fast and they're kind of going away going fast. Away. Okay. So they're a little too cool uh, color wise. Okay. So people are going back with more of the natural woods. Natural. Okay. Now the luxury mm -hmm. vinyl planks those yes. are really popular, Incredibly right? Incredibly popular. Right. Yeah, I think very durable. Yes, yes, they're about um, half or a third the price of tile, and oh, wow. uh, they're extremely durable, and uh, it's been a long time since we put an actual tile floor in. So you're really? doing, are you doing more of that than, than say, the engineered wood, the um, vinyl, or? In uh, some of the higher end projects, we're, we're definitely still doing the, the real wood, engineered, okay. wide planks, long, you know, farmhouse style, mm -hmm. and then um, in mid-grade, projects and any of our commercial projects, it's all LVT. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh. And it, they look almost identical to the wood products. Now, is there other quartz besides the Calcutta that seems to be popular? Um, a lot of the marbled quartz along with that Calcutta, um, okay. you know, the Carrera. Um, okay. Some bold stripes throughout, but I, th I think a lot of people are going a little more subtle, uh, just, you know, hints of movement. Um, people are really trying to stay timeless. 
and not get too into the yeah yeah not yeah, to get too crazy with the design you don't want to redo your kitchen again yeah yeah so a lot of white shaker cabinets right now shaker and white shaker has yeah. always been popular yeah. um and uh you know maybe change the color on the island the blue is pretty popular mm -hmm. but even when we do that um i just tell people it's going to be really nice right now and fun and uh you know in a few years at least you just have to repaint the island you won't have to repaint the entire kitchen if you stay classic oh, okay. on the perimeter. Okay, that's that's good to know. So you're saying that people are keeping their cabinets pretty much white, white. But, but playing with the island yeah. and changing that out every, mm -hmm. exactly. every trend. Okay, all right. Yeah. So you get shaker cabinets for your house. <laughs> yeah, and the backsplashes are typically like a white subway, maybe with texture. Okay. There's not the fancy patterns and things of the, the Tuscan era. <laughs> So, um, that stuff, well, yeah, it's fun. see, it's and fun. I personally like the white and they make these really cool, the, the subway tiles in all kinds of really neat patterns. They sure do. Yeah. I like that look. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So are you, um, so besides the kitchen remodel and, and now paints, you're saying it, they're like gray still, or is that the coming beige? out? It's, um, oh. we're probably doing 90% of just white walls again. Oh, okay. Um, even if it's not white, it would be a, like a, a soft gray. Okay. And that's most of what everyone's doing. Um, and just bringing color in accent pieces and area rugs. And um, I think okay. people during the 90s were kind of over committing to like the red dining room and the, um, you know, just really dark colors or there was everything had to be an accent wall. And now it's uh, just kind of flows together simplifying. With white color. Yeah. I yeah. Like that. Keeping the same floor throughout. Mm -hmm. um, we're rarely doing carpet. Oh, Lurley. really? Rarely. Yeah. Carpet. Yeah. Lurley, it's the wood or the LPT throughout. With just big rugs or things yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I, I realize I do like carpet. I like yeah. to vacuum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's cozy. I like it in the bedrooms. Sure. And, yeah. And maybe by, you know, like the, the family area where, you know, mm -hmm. unless you have a big rug, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just cozy. To exactly. Yeah. When we do the wood in the bedrooms and the living areas, we they're normally covering up a decent amount of it with a large area rug. Yeah. Okay, good to know. So now um, you pretty much start with your clients and you take them all the way through until it's done, right? Yes, so uh, most of our projects start from dirt and then we take them through the development process of getting the, um, the right permits and plans and, and um, then we start in on the space planning then we do interiors and we like to do them very early so that um, it gets the client a chance to uh, process. The, there's like 400 different selections you have to make when you build a house. And so we lead people through that whole process. We get 90% of the way there early in the process and that way they have a few months to let it kind of set and um, then we can revisit things and make adjustments. Mm -hmm. um, and when you do that before the project starts, um, there's you know not really a cost uh, to that. But if you wait till the last minute and then start going, oh, there's so much out that to choose from, then they cheap. become change orders, yeah. <laughs> and those are not cheap. So, okay. uh, so you know, most of our projects go off without a hitch, as as long as we start early. Well, so then you have a large design center at your at your office, right? So sure people do. come there and they pick out what they want, and then that way. Exactly, and, and we started that because um, in Santa Maria, when we came back 20 years ago, there mm -hmm. wasn't a whole lot of places to pick things out. You know, you basically had Home Depot and then some tile and a flooring store. Um, and so I would go over a two or three day period to Santa Barbara, up to San Luis with clients, and it was pretty exhausting and overwhelming. And I started realizing trends and patterns that um, seemed like everyone was picking out the mm -hmm. top. 10% of what was out there anyways. So I just brought that into the showroom and we could pull the design together in two or three hours sometimes. And and then there might be a few outliers that we need to go visit, but it, it's not an exhausting three days anymore. Right. And it's probably and not as- updated? Yeah, 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 yeah updated, yeah. Updated. yeah. Have you been to the showroom? I haven't, Oh, no. you need to go, oh, it's really oh, nice. Oh, yeah. And it's undergoing a remodel right now. So <laughs> okay. Um, before I forget though, you know what, I really um, would like to know, if you do a kitchen remodel, does that require a permit? Um, it does, technically. Um, okay. If you, um, oftentimes we'll do a, just a remove and replace. If everything's staying in the same area and right. it's just a, um, uh, a cosmetic Change out. change out then you know we're not moving electrical and things we'll just we'll go ahead and do that without a permit 
um, once we start getting into uh, structural walls okay. and things like that, then we just have to get permits. Okay, so that may take a little bit longer than if... Exactly, okay. you, have to, you have to get plans drawn and the permits, okay. so it's several thousand dollars more to awesome. go through that process, gotcha. yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, that's, I've been, because I've been, I've been asked that question and I'm like, I, I'm not sure, but I, I'm thinking if there's some major movement or, yeah. but again, I wanted that clarification just yeah, yeah. That's helpful. Good, good point. Well, you're going to be doing your kitchen soon. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's the plan, but we'll we'll see. So, um, yeah, I think. Uh, Is there any other things that you can think of that um, people need to look at before they jump into a big project and do a remodel? I think starting early is the key mm -hmm. because um, things nowadays, even from a couple years ago, it's 30% more expensive because of labor shortages, materials, you know, lumber is doubled. Um, lots of um, materials take longer to get. Um, the cabinets that used to take a month to get might be three months. So, um, okay. yeah, start early, get through a design, and then you kind of have the um, develop a budget. You know, some people don't really have a budget. So if you start early and pick things out, at least you can get a, um, a starting point of, okay, this is what you want. This is how much it's going to cost. Does that align with your expectations? Or do we need to, um, you know, rethink a few things? And it just gives you time to do that. And normally there's a way to, uh, to make something work as long as it's a, a reasonable budget. Okay. You could get a, a, a different quality of, of like a cabinet or something and save a little money or something like that. Is that what sure. you mean? Sure. Or, you know, um, a lot of people come to us and say, um, you know, we need to add on this square footage. And... Um, adding on is especially expensive these days. Um, so we like to have enough time with them to maybe, maybe we can just redo their existing floor plan right. and uh, get the space they need. And you know, they might not get 100% uh, of all their wants, but if we get 95% mm -hmm. and it was a third less than they wanted and it, and it fits in their budget now, then, uh, yeah. then that's yeah. a good thing. And that's what you have an eye for. Right, you can say, sure. you know, this is what we could do instead of that, and mm -hmm. oh yeah, we've been through hundreds of yeah. kitchen remodels and tons of houses, and so we know what works and what it what doesn't, um, right. okay. and we try to just put the money in the right spot. Got you it. need your own show. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I know. Um, now, what about COVID? Has that changed? You know, or you know, delayed a lot of a lot of. Um, it has. It has, so we've had to rethink where we buy things from. And um, we're always looking ahead because we like to show up on a project and get it done as fast as possible. Because mm -hmm. um, even though the construction process is fun, after two or three months of someone in your house, it's as much as you like them, you want them out. Yes. So, <laughs> so we just keep it going and keep momentum and, um, and you know, leave, uh, leave a happy client. Um, we've, uh, We've actually doubled our business from last year during COVID. Wow, because everybody. <laughs> so yeah. you're seeing a lot of that, right? Yes. Yeah. Home offices, kids, work areas, yeah. you're seeing a lot of that. And a lot of people want the ADUs in the backyard. Oh, okay. We get about five calls a week for the ADU. Wow. So it's because um, there's a two month permit guarantee issuance. Mm -hmm. The um, a lot of the permit fees are either waived or reduced, and then really? your then your property is an income property. Your appraisal is really good on the house, and it's your loan to value on the loans. It's there's just a lot of reasons, yeah. and if you're you might be two hundred two hundred fifty thousand in a building an ADU in your backyard, but you're you can get double the rent for what the loan payment is. So. Mm -hmm. It, you know, financially, it makes a lot of sense also. Well, thanks for all the great yeah. information. This is wonderful. Yeah, thank you so much, James. It was yeah. really nice having you on. and We really appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Okay, you. if you have any further questions, give us a call. You can reach me at 805-714-8124. And my number is 805-878-5056. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Wow. To see more information 
um, go ahead and click on that button and you can reach me at 805-714-8124. And my number is 805-878-5056. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.